across to Kindred Distant Orbin for more, standing by with our Advocare Sightline Report. Thanks, guys. Well, manager Jose Mourinho and his Chelsea club arrived just this morning from Montreal for this game here tonight. Jose Mourinho says he wants his team to recover from that game. A 4-2 loss to the New York Red Bulls, a game in which they allowed four goals in the second half, something he said is absolutely unacceptable regardless of who they are playing. He said every chance the Red Bulls created turned into a goal. He felt that his team was lacking concentration in the second half. But he also said this is a good time to be making those mistakes. It's the preseason and they have time to get those things corrected. Back to you guys. Welcome back to Diamondbacks Live. I'm Kindred D. St. Aubin, and we are waiting for the game between the Diamondbacks and the Cardinals. But right now, I have third baseman Ryan Roberts. And, Ryan, you have a very special promotion that's coming up here on Saturday. What are the first 20,000 fans going to receive when they walk through that door? Welcome into GCU Arena on the campus of Grand Canyon University in the heart of Phoenix, Arizona, for the GCU Lopes welcome in the New Mexico State Aggies. The Lopes 16 and 11 on the season. The Aggies come in at 18 and 10. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm Kendra D. St. Alvin. As we said, we are right here inside GCU Arena. The fans are starting to file in. to try their luck against the San Jose Earthquakes at Avaya Stadium, where Kindo de St. Aubin is standing by for a preview. Thanks, Rob. Well, Manchester United arrived in the San Jose area late yesterday evening, arriving in their usual fanfare. They came in the Rolling Stones private plane. They flew here from Seattle, where they took on Club America just last weekend. They're ready to take on the Earthquakes here tonight in front of a sold-out crowd. No big surprise here with Manchester United. This is the fourth time Manchester United is visiting the Bay Area. They've been doing this since the 1960s. One big thing for manager Louis Van Hall is the new players that he is trying to get acclimated to the system here. They have four new players that they've signed in the transfer window. They're expecting three additional players to return on July 25th for their big match against Barcelona. The two things he said he wanted to see against the Earthquakes tonight, more scoring and no injuries, of course, in the preseason, getting ready for their first Premier League match. They want to keep injury free. Back to you, Rob. Kinder, we look for a great game matchup here at GC Arena tonight. Thanks, guys. Yeah, well, you know the Lopes are going to want to avenge that one-point loss, losing pretty much at the buzzer. Welcome into Brazil Stadium on the campus of Grand Canyon University in the heart of Phoenix, Arizona, where the Grand Canyon Antelopes at 9-3 and three on the season are getting ready to host the Kansas Jayhawks, and they come in at 4-7 and seven on the season. Good evening, everybody. At Brazil Stadium, another beautiful night for baseball, a little bit on the chilly side, but both these teams are ready to play, and both of these teams looking to start off right where they left off last season. Before we hit the break, we go downstairs to Kendra D. St. Aubin with the Galaxy head coach. Thanks, guys. Well, coach, you got the equalizer at half, but what are your overall thoughts? Maybe came out a little bit flat? It was a quick game. It's a good game. Exciting game for the fans. Do you think the frenetic pace benefits you guys or Club America? Well, it certainly benefited them in the first 15 minutes of the game. Thank you so much, coach. Good luck in the Thank second you. half. Thank you. Back to you guys. Coach, you guys got up to a great start against the Aggies. Maybe faltered a bit down the stretch, only shooting 37 percent. What are your thoughts on that? Now let's welcome in Barry Butel and Scott Williams. And guys, they are going to need another tremendous performance like they wrapped up against that UTPA team to try to get a W against the Aggies here tonight. Kendra D. St. Aubin with Coach Stankowitz. Thanks, guys. I'm here with UNLV coach Tim Chambers. Well, how do you feel so far about your starter, Cody Roper? 34 pitches, not too bad. Yes, we have Senator John McCain on hand here tonight. And first of all, this is your first GCU basketball game in this arena, but we know you are no stranger to sporting events in the Valley. So what do you think of this atmosphere so far? I think the crowd is wonderful. But Ryan, let's talk a little bit about this team returning home. A long road trip. We were just talking about it before we came back from break. How good does it feel to return home here to Chase Field in front of your fans? As I'm with Josh Ralston, a junior on the track and field team. You're a sprinter, you're a high jumper, you're a triple jumper. Did I get all those in there? Well, when we come back, we have lots of action here at Brazil Stadium. We're going to get it all underway. Barry Butel and Steve Lyons, they will have the first pitch coming up right after this break. Andrew has a special guest. Let's send it over to her. Thanks, guys. I'm here with the Manning family. You guys were part of a 
very special surprise tonight. And if I remember correctly, Javen, you came home from serving overseas. You have but not been here for two Christmases, and you surprised your sisters here today. What was that like? Last question, just looking to keep that momentum rolling after you guys had a great weekend last weekend against Nebraska. We have three good games. Anybody could have swept. Uh, they could have swept us, and we, we had a good shot to sweep them. So it was a fun series. Uh, they, got, they got a real good team, and and as does Grand Canyon. Send it over to Kinder D. St. Olive. Thanks, guys. I'm joined by Royce Woolridge. Well, 20 points for you tonight, but clearly not the result that you guys were hoping for. Well, as we said, we are going to take a look at the WAC preseason rankings. The GCU Lopes right back in the thick of things. All right, thanks, Brad. Back up to you.